Hot damn, it's been one hell of a year. All that more coming up here on The Morning Jolt. What's up, boys and girls? Mark back here with yet another video. Today, we're talking about all the amazing things that has happened in the year 2018. So first of all, this has just been an amazing, crazy, surprising as hell year. 2018 has probably brought more options, more amazing stuff into our lives than any other year than I can possibly remember. There's been more gear, more upsets, more just what the hell is that kind of stuff that's come out this year. It has absolutely blown my mind. Now granted, I've already done my you know, best cameras of a 2018 video. If you want to check that video out, I'll leave it right up here for you guys. Other than that, there were a couple of other little entries that came in, uh, specifically the Osmo Pocket from DJI. That was not out when I made that video, but it is a really interesting option that is now entered into the marketplace. I don't know that I'm going to be getting one. I mean, it's kind of redundant in my system at this point, and uh, there are a few things lacking, but overall, the concept is what makes that thing so awesome. Super duper small, super lightweight. It's a 3-axis gimbal, literally. They can actually, for once, truly, genuinely, fit in your pocket. No, for real, it can fit in your pocket. But I also want to say that I absolutely am beaming with pride that this year I did not cave to the temptation to try and pedal a bunch of garbage, a bunch of extra gear that you probably don't need at either Black Friday or during Christmas time. As some of you all know, I hit the road full time in my vintage 1977 Avion camper, and I have been out here in Florida for the last two months. That, my friends, is probably the biggest reason why I've not been uploading to this channel on a day-to-day -day basis, because the morning jolt, honestly, with the crappy internet that I'm encountering out here uh, amongst the wild things, I mean, by the time I finally got it uploaded, it would probably be like the late afternoon jolt. Some of these upload speeds are... I mean, they're really horrendous. There are those few occasions when I do have some decent internet and then, you know, I just... I end up having other stuff to do. Though There's like, there's like beaches here. Like, it is right now... December the 31st, 2018. And where I'm at in Florida, it's going to be 82 degrees. And there's a really good chance I'm going to be poolside. Don't be hating, bitches. That's just how it goes. Look, I made the choice. I came down. I got here in the, in the wintertime to ride out all of those, you know, snowflakes and ice storms and bad road conditions and salt. I got rid of all of that. I abandoned it. And I got to say, I really do have to say, best decision ever. But yeah, I would have totally been uploading more uh, of my daily videos uh, if I had had better internet. But because my internet is always going to be really unpredictable, I just don't think that a daily show uh, for this channel is going to be viable any longer. So that's the reason I'm making the announcement here on the 50th episode of The Morning Jolt, and I am going to basically kind of fleece my audience. But before I do that, I just want to say that I have tried my very best while I've been out here to shoot more and give less credence to the gear. I did not update or upgrade my camera this year. The Fujifilm X-T3 came out. Amazing, beautiful, stellar camera. But I did not upgrade. I went on ahead and I kept my Fuji X-T2. There are several different uh, massive uh, upgrades to that camera that I really think that would benefit me. But I'm just not willing to just constantly go through that upgrade cycle anymore. The Fujifilm X-T2 is an amazing camera. It has been an absolute tank. It has been an absolute beast for me. I have shot lots of real estate since I've been down here. I have shot lots of different types of photographs since I've been down here, and I've enjoyed my time, spending more time creating, spending more time photographing, spending more time putting my heart and soul into what I actually like to do instead of just talking about new gear. It has been an absolute awesome time. That was the main reason why I didn't want to pedal any gear to you guys this year. I wanted maybe, just maybe, some of you all to go, you know what, it's good enough. I can take some of the most amazing shots, like I thought that this was the best thing since sliced bread just a year ago. There is absolutely no reason for me to think that this thing is a hunk of shit now. And it's not. It's not. You can take amazing, amazing content. You can create some amazing stuff with what you already have. So I didn't push any Black Friday videos, any, oh, get your Christmas orders in. I didn't beg for your support. I didn't constantly ask you all to please click on my affiliate links whatsoever. I just really hoped that... 
I didn't have to add to that. I didn't have to put more fuel on that fire. There were a million other YouTubers doing the exact same thing. So I might have cut off my own nose, but at the exact same time, I really do hope that you all stopped, you paused, and you just went, no, no. I'm fine. This is good. So with all that being said, and this being the final video that I'm going to produce here on the Photo Video Show's channel, The Morning Jilt, episode 50, I want to ask you all. I want to see what you all think. I want to ask you, what do you all want to see out of this channel? I mean, honestly, everything has just been done to death. There are a million people doing it. Hey, here's the comparison between this camera and that camera. And I get it. You know, people are trying to decide on what to buy, but I mean, I just can't bring myself to do it. I just, at this point, at this point, I just don't know if this channel specifically is going to provide any value to you all uh, in the long run. Every single photographic tutorial has already been done. Every single camera comparison that could possibly be released. The everyday dad is probably going to do it. I mean, the guy is just a machine. He will burn out. I hope that he doesn't, but he will. God bless him, man. He's just cranking out one video after another. I just can't watch another gear video. I mean, and that may be just me. I don't know if it's you all too, but I know for a fact it's me. It's just like, yes, there's going to be upgrades and there's going to be upgrades every single year. It's everything is just going to continuously get better, but there has been so much advancement in our craft it is getting really really hard to a keep up b keep moving forward and c still balance all that with getting out there and actually shooting some photographs actually getting out there and creating some videos i've been going a lot of places i've been seeing a lot of things i've been trying to photograph my adventures and video my adventures so i picked up this uh you know canon m50 for vlogging style videos i also picked up a uh, gopro hero 7 black these cameras are amazing i also still have my phone like i've got so much camera gear i still have my film cameras i still have my sony gear i am just over laden with gear i don't need anything else so you know i have begun to question you know whether or not just content for the sake of content if it's even worth it anymore i just don't know that this channel is going to be very valuable to anyone i don't want to waste my time i don't want to waste your all's time either so what i kind of thought that i would do is still do certain things as far as like in the same vein as the morning jolt but just not as often if i find some topics of videos that you know, are great, are cool, are awesome. Uh, maybe I'll talk about them, create a video just like this, but what I will do is I will just upload them in. If they don't happen to make it up in the morning, I'm just, it's just still going to be the morning gel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. And I really do enjoy this format. So I don't know, guys, you all let me know. You all tell me what your all's thoughts and feelings are about this channel, about me as a presenter, as a content creator. And if you still want me to create these types of videos, of course, I'm always going to, you know, if I pick up a new piece of gear or I have, you know, some, uh, a little thing or whatever that I picked up along the way and I want to make a a review video on it. I'm totally going to do that. I absolutely have, you know, little things, a little accoutrement that will help complement my photography setup. And of course, I'm going to make videos about those kinds of things, but they'll just be, you know, random, sporadic, whatever. And if you guys are interested in actually following along with me and you're interested in seeing what I'm creating with my camera gear, you are more than welcome to follow me over there on my Avion Awesome channel. I will put a link uh, to that up here uh, in the card section as well. I'll also drop a link down in the description down below. And uh, also follow me over on Instagram if you haven't already. I've been trying to post all of the photographs from all of my cameras, whether they be from the Canon M50, whether they be from the GoPro Hero Black, whether they be for my Fuji setup, I'm just posting photographs. I'm enjoying shooting stuff again. If you guys are interested, go ahead, drop me a line, follow me, like, whatever. At this point, I am completely satisfied with as many followers as possible or none whatsoever. I will say that being out here on the road, it gives you a lot more time to think and to kind of put into, into perspective what's genuinely important to you, what you really want to get out of your days, minutes, hours of your life that are just ticking away. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're just going, going, going. So I'm just trying to make as much possible stuff. I'm just trying to put myself out there as much as I possibly can. At any rate, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you all for following me along yet 
for another full year of amazing releases here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. It does mean the world to me. And of course, I hope you guys will follow along, stay with me, hang out whenever I'm available on this channel and my other one through 2019. Let's make it the best year ever. So get out there, start making some stuff. And I'll see you boys again on the next one. 2018, hype, hype, peace out.